Hello, welcome to Ed Reviews Anything. Almost. A while back I uh, did a review on the uh, Casus uh, 40 uh, gigabit per second uh, enclosure for an NVMe 2.0 uh, SSD card. And uh, I was using the Crucial uh, P3 card. And uh, it was a good little review, well received, but there were several questions regarding the uh, speed test. So I thought I would revisit that today and see if we could clear it up just a little bit. So uh, one of the questions was, uh, I was using the Blackmagic um, app on my uh, computer for uh, testing the speed. And of course, that's pretty well a standard app that a lot of people use. There are others out there. But uh, the uh, two questions that were brought up, one person was thinking I was only using a one gigabyte file for the test. And in fact, I was using a five gigabyte file. And uh, other people pointed out that that was sequential read and write and real world read and write would be different. So what I have done is uh, created a uh, folder on my desktop with uh, a collection of video files in it. And the total capacity or the total size of those uh, video files altogether is uh, just over 51 gigabytes. So my plan is to revisit the uh, speed test using the Blackmagic app, and then we'll do a transfer from uh, the uh, internal SSD on my Mac Studio to the external NVMe uh, drive. So first thing we'll do here is uh, we'll select our target drive. And for the target drive, I'll just select the internal disk on the Mac Studio. And we'll start our test here. And a good read speed, good write speed. So we're getting about 5,300 uh, megabytes per second read and uh, yeah, between two and 4,300 uh, megabytes per second write speed. So they were down to about 2,000 megabytes per second write speed. The internal drive is fast and I guess depending on the load and uh, where it's storing things on the internal SSD. And I don't know why we keep calling them drives. They're not a drive, they're SSD, all solid state. But in any case, the internal SSD is quite fast, uh, considerably faster than the external SSD. So I thought that would be the best test of transferring from the internal drive to the external drive. So we see there what we've got uh, reading the internal SSD. So we'll stop this test and we'll go and select the external SSD, which is this uh, crucial NVMe 2.0 right here. So we selected that and let's take a look at that. So we're getting about the same speed as I got in my original test on this, about 2500 on the uh, right and about 2300 on the read. And we'll just let it cycle through a few times. And holding steady about 2500 and about 2300. Just under 2300 on the read. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and stop that. Now I do want to just take a look and verify we are using the five gigabyte file here. So uh, that is what we were testing with the uh, uh, Blackmagic speed test was five gigs of uh, read and write on both the uh, internal SSD on the studio and also the external SSD. All right, so currently I am using this uh, crucial NVMe drive as uh, the drive. And again, I keep calling it a drive. I guess we'll call it a drive. Uh, using the crucial uh, SSD for my Final Cut Pro uh, libraries. And uh, I've got this uh, file or folder right here I created with these uh, video files and I think it was just over 51 uh, gigabytes. Let's take a look. Yep, uh, we got uh, 51 point, uh, 
four or five gigabytes, the best I can read without my reading glasses. And the only reason I took my reading glasses off is because of the glare. I gotta see if I can find some, yeah, 51.46 gigabytes. I gotta see if I can find some uh, reading glasses that don't uh, produce glare under the lights. So in any case, uh, what I plan to do here, let's just shrink these up a little bit. And we'll take a look at the timer. Well, actually stopwatch. And that's the last time I used it, so we'll reset that. And of course, it's gonna take me a, uh, a little bit of time to move from transferring over here, but I'm gonna grab this folder and transfer it onto the Crucial Drive and start my timer and my little copy uh, window came up on the other screen, so we'll drag it over here. So there you go, we copied uh, 51.46 gigabytes in less than 20 seconds. So I think that's pretty daggum good. And uh, as I said, the, uh, the speed just using the uh, Blackmagic speed test came out good. So I stand by my previous conclusion. This drive, although it doesn't reach the 4,800 megabytes per second that it claimed it could do up to, 2,500 is still plenty fast in my opinion. And certainly transferring 50 gigabytes in 20 seconds is A-OK. -okay. So I have to give a, a big thumbs up to uh, both the uh, Crucial uh, uh, SSD uh, card and also to the uh, uh, TB405, and I'll correct this with a, uh, with a title at the bottom of the screen if I'm wrong, but I think it's TBU405 is the model number on the Acasis uh, enclosure, and it does have that fan. And I will link the original uh, review that I did in the comments, so you can go take a look at that. In addition to uh, testing the speed, I also tested the noise level from the fan, and also I tested a couple of different cables to see how that affected the speed. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.